Welcome back, back out on the kayak. Today we're out on the San Francisco Bay looking for some halibut. So the last couple, couple times I've come fishing with Taku, aka Outdoor Chef Life, he's been able to outfish me. Been putting a hurt on the halibut and I've been just here watching. So today I got here super early. Well, not super early, but I did get here a little earlier than he did. And Nick Fish, both supposed to join me out here today. But I wanted to make sure I get out here for this early morning bite before they get here. However, I don't know if you can tell, but man, it's not looking too good out here. It's super choppy, wind is up. So last time I came out here with Taku and Nick and we tried to get some live bait and Taku was able to get some, but I wasn't. So I wasted a lot of time for nothing. So today, straight to fishing, we're trolling a frozen herring, aka the tried and true, the old faithful out here in the San Francisco Bay. Planes are going overhead. We'll look for that halibut down underneath. Oh yeah! All right guys, well, little update. Been out here for like, two or three hours, I haven't even had a bite yet. The wind is kind of, I don't know, it calmed down a little bit, now it's kind of picking back up a little bit. It hasn't gotten too unbearable, but it's not ideal. And I've been trying a few different things. I actually picked up a little bit of live bait with the tzatziki here earlier, and uh, now I'm drifting that, this rod. No bites yet, Taku actually just had one bite and then he missed it and then he put it back down. Now he, he has a fish on right now. So pressure's on man. I gotta catch something. Right now I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Just playing it out. Seems like it's a good size one. I need to catch a fish. I need to catch a fish. Come on. It's getting cold. I need some excitement. Here we go. Here we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. Finally. It has been a tough day for me. Oh my god, it's been so tough for me so far. I have literally I couldn't buy a bite. Taku got one, Nick got one, along with some shakers, but man I have struggled. I tried live bait, I tried dead bait. This is on the dead bait. Okay. Oh man, this is a tiny one. I thought this one was a lot bigger than that. Well, it's been a long time coming, but that's fish number one, finally. He's got a little bit of a scar right there. Probably from a, I don't know what that's from. Maybe seal or maybe another fish, I don't know. But, Anyways, fish number one, and man did it take so long, but maybe now that we found one, maybe we can find another one now. That took way too long. The struggle is real today.
said earlier, the struggle is real today. But I'm persevering. Nick and Taku, they get all out on this day game up. They, they headed in because they got their fish. But I'm sticking it out today. here this is the longest I've been on the kayak in a while I ran this whole external battery out so we're running low on camera battery here but I'm gonna start making my way back in now I gave it a fair chance I did get my one keeper still holding out hope that I could get one on the way back here quite a little ways from the launch so we got plenty of water to cover still a chance that we get one so not giving up hope just yet but I'm running low on battery so I'm gonna have to start making my way back here didn't tell the guys that I got one yet. nice one. We finally get to gaff a fish. This will be my first gaff shot of the season. We'll see if I still got it. Oh yeah. Still got it. Like riding a bike. Oh he was barely hooked too. Stringer, 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 stringer. I 
I've said this before in, in previous videos, but sometimes when they're coming up, you hook them like maybe just outside the mouth or something. You just swipe in the bait and where the back hook gets them or something. Sometimes they can come up like a parachute, so they feel really big when in fact they're not that big. But luckily, that wasn't the case this time. This time, it was actually a real fish. I am very proud of that one right there. I'm proud of both of these fish today. I worked really hard for these two. But you know what? I was heading in. Oh my god, look at how I barely got him. By the skin of his teeth. Alright, hold on. I gotta get my line back in. Wouldn't that be epic if I got number three? that in just in case number three is down there waiting let's give her a measure just to see how big she actually is i'm gonna guess this one's 30. it's got to be around 30. maybe a little bit more a little bit less i don't know is not close yeah 30 right on the dot Boom! That's why it's dire fishing. Never give up. Today I was committed. I, would, I was coming out. I wasn't going to give up until I caught some fish. And sometimes that's all it takes. Just a little bit of stubbornness. A little bit of persistence. And man, all those. if I would have went in when those guys went in, I would have went home with nothing. Now I got two in the box. And who knows? We'll just keep our lines in here. Maybe one last Hail Mary fish. Try for a little bit longer. I was I was literally on the way in, but I gotta give it a little bit more time now, just in case number three is swimming my way. And I just got a genius idea. I mean when I'm out here just trolling around, no one to talk to, no boats around, no kayaks around, plenty of thoughts going through my mind. So I finally got a good idea, I think. We'll get back to that in a little bit here, but let me take care of this fish. Keep trolling here, maybe, maybe we can get lucky with number three. Fish, fish, fish. Literally, was down for like five minutes. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, we hit it! This is, a, this is a good fish. If I can just keep him in. Try to still circle around here. We have to land this. We have to land this one. This is a must land right here. This is the go home fish. Dude, this feels like a heavy fish. This feels like a heavy fish. My other one, I bonked him, bled him, and he's still sw swimming around back here because I literally had this down for like, I don't know. I, I want to say it was like a minute or two. Yeah, just check the camera. I literally turned the camera on three less than three minutes ago, and it was already on. I don't know, I want to say it was down for less than two minutes before this one hit. One thing I am worried about is I already landed two fish with the same leader. I really don't like to use the same leader more than a couple of times, but today I was just, I don't know, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting it. So I'm gonna play him real gently here because of that reason. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Another good one, bigger than the other two. Got him! That's the limit! So... 
Oh man, we stuck it out and it paid off. Look at that. Boom. Not a huge one, but I think it's probably like a 30, I want to say like 32 inches maybe. Oh man. Am I proud of this limit right here? And that's the one to cap it off. You know what? Let's get him on the stringer. I don't want to take any chances here. It's hard, it's hard not to though. Look at that fish. Yeah, he choked the, choked the herring. It took a while, but it came together. <laughs> Look, there's the finishing too. Man, I trolled for like... Oh. I gotta get this on the stringer. Dude, I trolled for like... It's 4.15 now. So I trolled for like... Uh, let's see, I got here at 7. I trolled ever since seven, so what is that? Seven, that's like nine hours. And finally, in the last like hour, I got all three of these. Official. Oh, my fingers are dangerously close to the mouth there. Don't like that. Oh, all right, it's official, on the stringer. Bingo! Boom, 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 three. Bang, 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 limit. So the, the smaller one that I got first is in my cooler bag behind me here. And uh, these two obviously are right here on the stringer. I'm gonna get this hooked out. This one was hooked good. The first, or the second one was right on the lip, but this one, he choked it. These guys have wicked teeth right here, so do not stick your finger in the mouth. Yep, 32. I got a 23. A 30 and a 32. Not too bad there. Especially when the day started off like it did, man. I didn't even get a shaker for like the first like six hours or something. Twins, almost. We also gotta make sure we get back to the dock. That's the last thing. My battery has never run out on me, but I think this is the longest I've ever pushed it, so. Probably should start heading back here. Luckily, I'm going with the tide and the wind back to the uh, harbor here. Fun day, but now is the idea that I had. Oh, I'm so happy I caught these because I wouldn't have been able to do this if I didn't catch these. I know the sliding's not great, but I've got everything put away and just wanted to give you guys a lowdown. So basically, all the Bay Area fishing YouTube guys, Outdoor Chef Life, More Than Fishing, Ish With Fish, Fisherman's Life, Philosophy D, Nick Fish, myself, and a few other guys, we have this big group thread where we just, I don't know, people talk about fishing, see where the fish are, YouTube questions, whatever, just nonsense sometimes. But anyways, there's like this big thing going on where Taku has outfished me in Halibut the last two times that we both went out together. So the first time he came out, caught a keeper, I didn't catch anything, or I, actually I did catch, I caught a bunch of shakers, but no keepers. And then the second time, which was just uh, a couple of days ago, he went out, caught two more keepers, and I got totally skunked. I think I caught three shakers again. Um, so twice in a row he outfished me, and today I guess he was going for the three-peat. So I don't know if he even made it on film today because we were kind of fishing. Well, I got here early, earlier than him, and he went in later than me. So I don't know if he ever made it on film, but anyways, him and Nick Fish were both out here with me today, and uh, they went in before I did, each with fish. So at that point, I didn't have any fish. I didn't even have a shaker, and they think that I totally skunked. Then after that, maybe an hour or two after they went in, Taku gave me a call just to give me like a courtesy, you know, make sure I got back in safe because I was the only one left out here, um, and it was so windy and everything. And at that point, I still didn't have any fish, but I did have a shaker, so I think I told them I caught a shaker at that point. Um, so as far as they know, I didn't catch any keepers today. They think I basically went home empty-handed. However, as you guys saw, and now they've seen, because this is the first time that they're seeing it, we hooked up on the limit there late. Bang, bang, bang. Two 30 inchers plus another little 23 incher. Everyone thought I went home with a skunk, but I went home with the limit. I know they're gonna ask me how I went, how I went today, so I'm probably gonna have to make up some kind of lie. I'll probably just tell them that I caught one shaker, which isn't a lie. I only caught one shaker, but I just won't mention that I also caught three keepers, including two 30 inchers. But thank you guys for watching. Actually, my next video should be epic. We're gonna be fishing a new area for one of my favorite kinds of fish and doing it all solo. So it should be a fun video. I won't reveal anything else other than that. 
Hope you guys stay tuned for that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. So to Ish, to June, to Daniel, Matt, Chris, and especially to Nick, Taku, I got you. I should have known better if I was gonna stay out here this long. It's almost five o'clock now. I'm bound to catch something. <laughs>